We're gonna to get to those pins being pulled in just a minute, but first we need to talk about CBR and gas masks with optional smoke and carbon monoxide filters. In the world of personal preparedness, these are items that can help you level up. It's Derek from Survive Doomsday. Let's talk specifically about the Mirror Safety Fire Escape Kit. This includes the CBRN CM6M tactical gas mask, try saying that six times fast, two VK530 filters, and a tactical pouch for it all. This canteen is compatible with the mask itself, so you don't have to remove your mask in order to hydrate. CBRN stands for Chemical, Biological, Radiological, and Nuclear. The rubber is resistant to blistering agents. This actually has two filter ports, speech diaphragm, wide panoramic view, and NATO standard 40 millimeter threading. Now let's look at the VK530 special combined filter. This tactical drop leg pouch is made out of 600D nylon, has a quick release buckle, a Velcro spot for patches, a great inside, Really, this pouch can be used not just for a gas mask, but also as a drop pouch for empty magazines, bug out supplies, anything else you need. Who actually uses the Mirror Safety CM6M? Well, police and government agencies in the Czech Republic, Norway, Portugal, Chile, Saudi Arabia, Turkey, Kuwait, Latvia, and Lebanon, and preppers all across America. Now let's talk for just a second about the importance of having 40 millimeter threading. Whenever possible, you want to think about your preps in terms of systems. You have, of course, the Molly system for attaching gear, but systems are also why the AR-15 platform is so popular. You can use different parts, they're interchangeable, you can share parts with friends and family. Well, the same applies to the 40 millimeter threading. The 40 millimeter thread means this system is interchangeable with many other systems. The Israeli gas mask, for example. 40 millimeter threading. The cheap filter that typically comes with the Israeli gas mask threads in. And it also goes on the mirror safety. Likewise, if you're escaping a wildfire and your friend has this gas mask, you can hand him a VK530. And you'll know it fits. It makes the system modular and accessible to aftermarket products. It also means the mirror filter will work with these cheaper child masks you can find on eBay. The mirror safety NBC filter that also works on here. Sometimes it's good to get a comparison of a different product. In this case, the fire escape mask made in China. Plastic case versus nylon case. Compact size, it's got that going for it. This reminds me of the Jiffy Pop that I make for the kids over a campfire. It's not a great seal. I suppose this might reflect some heat. Flimsy plastic visor. Not going to protect you from blistering agents. No speech diaphragm. Good luck trying to drink through this thing. The neck seal around here is just an elastic waistband. It feels kind of flimsy. Let me cinch it. This thing is ramming into my mouth. I hit my nose. Let's see if I can get this thing off now. You can tell this thing is airtight. I pop this cap on the filter and I can't breathe at all. Nothing getting around the seal. Way more comfortable, much greater visibility, and I feel like I could fight a wildfire. Now we're gonna see how this mask and filter work. I've set up the Easy Up for this test, but we're not gonna just use it like this. We are going to transform it into the Easy Up Chamber, Chamber of Terror. Terror. I'm gonna pull the pin on this EG-18X smoke grenade. I'm gonna to toss it inside and we'll see how this mirror safety mask works. I don't know where my right-handed glove is, so we're gonna to have to do this Michael Jackson style, if you know what I mean. Give that a minute to collect.
I don't know if you can see me, but I've got no problem breathing. I can smell the smoke a little bit. Let me hold this a little tighter. Yep, I think my seal is a little bit off, is why I can smell it. Yep. A little bit tighter. That's better. I can't smell the smoke at all now. The panoramic is very dark, but you could see to escape. No trouble breathing, the mask, the seal is good. Feel the vision with this wide kind of shield here, but it's so dark you can't really see too far anyway. But the mask and the, the filter work great. No problem breathing. You could certainly escape a wildfire with one of these on. We now know that the mask works great on smoke, but how does it work on other things? Like, I don't know, airborne pava. This is what's called a pepper grenade. And what happens is this goes off and it releases a cloud of pava powder. Now I know a lot of people are gonna ask, where can I get one of these? This was sent to me for testing, but they've stopped selling these. So I'm not sure you can get these anymore. Now pava stands for perlogenic acid vanillamide. Vanillamide? Perlogenic acid vanillamide. Vanillamide. Anyway, this stuff will mess you up. So I've used these before without any protection at all to see how they work. Warning, uh, do not try this at home. Exposure to pava can result in dry cough or wheezing, shortness of breath, inability to breathe properly, burning throat, chest pain, gagging, runny nose, gasping for air, panic, inability to speak, dizziness, loss of consciousness, and result in rashes, blisters, or burns on contact with the skin. I'm gonna start blowing snort rockets here in a minute. This would definitely mess somebody up in a corridor. Um, I'm glad I tried it out here. Um, I don't know if it's gonna work with the smoke filter. We'll find out. I'm gonna know pretty quickly when I pull the pin, toss this inside and enter whether it works or not. I'll make sure I get the seal right this time. works. I'd be choking and gasping if it wasn't. See the powder here? Whoa! Oh, <coughs> <coughs> well, it's offering some protection. A lot of protection, I should say. I think I just got too close to it. <coughs> Let's try this again with the other filter. <coughs> okay, I changed the filter. I've got the NBC filter on. Last one of these, we're gonna see how this performs uh, compared to the smoke filter. Round two of the Pava, NBC filter. NBC filter is better. I will say that for this. The smoke filter had no trouble whatsoever with the smoke grenade. It certainly made me able to operate with the Pava um, but I could, obviously you saw I was choking a little bit, coughing a little bit. I got nothing going on with this NBC filter. You can take a look at what happens here with these, all this pava. I wouldn't be talking like this if this filter wasn't working. So again, that speaks to these systems. You've got a quality gas mask and you've got options with different filters for different environments, different situations. Let me know what you think. Give the video a like. I'd appreciate your support. Check out my other videos. Survive Doomsday.